open paper. If ever you were a student at Bangor University, you'll have very fond memories of me lecturing to you about this, I have no doubt. So, if we want to make paper out of wood, paper wasn't originally made out of wood. It was well, originally made by the Egyptians uh, using papyrus, and the first true paper was made by the Chinese. Uh, and a lot of the original paper was actually made from cloth, and it was made from long fibre vegetable material. It's only relatively recently that we've begun to make paper out of wood, past some two, three hundred years. And what we do when we make paper out of wood is we get large pieces of wood and we break them down into small pieces of wood, wood chips, and then those wood chips are either chemically impregnated to get the fibres out or they are mechanically broken down to get the wood fibres out. So if you remember back to one of my other lectures, we were looking at softwoods and the tracheids, which are long fibrous cells in the wood. To make paper, we like long cells. That gives you a very good quality for the strength of the paper for these fibres to adhere together. If you want smooth paper, it's quite nice to have quite short fibres. In that case, we might want to use a hardwood if we want a very smooth paper, but it wouldn't be a very strong paper. So some very high quality papers might use a mixture of long fibres and short fibres, short fibres to give the surface and long fibres to give the strength. So we can basically break down uh, pulp manufacture into either chemical processes or mechanical processes and I've left a little gap there because we can have a range of processes which are called semi-chemical or chemi-mechanical or some other combination and obviously they use a mixture of chemical and mechanical methods to break down the wood to get these cells out, to get these fibres out to make the pulp from which we make the paper. So I will start by talking about chemical pulping processes and there are two main ones of interest. There's so-called craft pulping which I understand is the Swedish word for strong. So you, you make strong paper using craft pulping. And then there's another process which is called bisulfite. I'm a bit old fashioned and use the English spelling of bisulfite, but you might very often find it spelt this way. Bisulfite means the same thing. So this is to do with the different chemical processes that are used for breaking down the wood chips. So I'll be talking about the craft process in the next lecture. <laughs>